Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a HTML form uh, which can send the data to the Google Sheet. And one inter interesting thing about this form, this form is not be created by the coding. Okay, what do you mean? For example, this is a code employee registration and you want to change that particular name. You just go to your uh, Google Sheet and uh, go to your setting sheet and enter here your name okay you can enter here your name and that's all now go to your form and refresh your web application so when you refresh your web application now you can able to see your form title is successfully changed uh, same as it is all the form can be created by using this form sheet right now you can able to see if i delete all of these and uh, just remove this and only these two items stay here i just go here and refresh my web application so as of now you can able to see i have only two input fields i just come here enter my name and email id and click on this submit form so when i click on this submit form you can able to see my data is successfully being saved in my database okay so when i go to back to my sheet and uh, redo uh, and i just paste it here my data again as you can see here the type is text date drop down number file and all the basic major uh, things types we have added in this form so as you can see here option d it's options for drop down so for example this is a department and you want to add the drop down in your form in your form you want to add a drop down you can see here when i reload my web application so my form is created and in my department i have see the drop downs so how this drop down comes you can simply add here the drop down just add the comma and add your information here okay and just done okay now refresh your web application and uh, because it will refresh your form and right now you can able to see that particular option is successfully being added in your data okay so one more thing if you want to add a one more fields for example school okay so enter your school name you can add here enter your school name okay you can add here enter your school name but this time okay it's a text base you can simply add a text option here and leave this black go to your form web app and open your web application and refresh so as of now you can able to see enter your school name is successfully being placed here okay so you can see here this is a placeholder and this is a form id form id basically saves the data in this okay when you enter the form id you will try you will enter all this in small letters don't give any space between your data like you can see here this is name it's okay all in small letters and this and this is birth date so you can see here i don't have added any space between birth and date i join it okay so as you can see here in placeholder i have added the spaces and i use the capital or small letters date of birth as you can see here the date of birth okay so we will submit the data and uh, just come here and select our date from here and uh, select our drop down employ id choose file okay i will also show you join date we can add the join date from here current position also additional columns so you can add here school name what you want to add and click on this submit form so when you click on this submit form as you can see here your form submitted successfully and your data is successfully being saved in your google drive okay now let's come to the settings sheet so what is in this setting sheet for example this is a submit form okay this is a submit form and i want to change here uh uh press here press here to save data okay so press here to save data we just come here and go to our dynamic form and refresh our web application so as of now you can able to see our 
for our button text is successfully being changed press here to save data okay and the one more feature we have added and if you want to add three rows and two columns so you just go to here and refresh your web application so when you refresh your web application now you can able to see uh, here three rows two columns okay uh go to here and now we will do it three rows and three columns and go to here refresh our web application so when we refresh our web application as of now you can able to see we have three rows and three columns okay understand so if you will go here and change it here four and change it here to four and refresh your web application as of now you can able to see your form is be the four by four column so in this way you can create a dynamic form without having any knowledge of your coding and you can create a lot of forms with them and easily you can make a data entry web portal web app easily so you can add or submit the data in your google sheets digitally okay now let's the folder id part so whenever you will go to your google drive okay whenever you will go to your google drive as you can see here when i go to my google drive i just copy this folder id from here and now go here and paste it here now all set now i just need to go to my code editor and now click on this deploy click on this new deployment okay as you can see here uh we have said sometimes it will not show anything so don't worry just click on here click on this web app and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy as of now you can see you have a google sheet link which you can successfully being used as a your web url okay i just paste it here and click on this enter button okay so as of you can see our form is successfully being loaded and you can add unlimited entries unlimited drop downs unlimited file uploads okay so we thank you very much hope you like this video you like this concept and uh, if you don't subscribe our channel so you just go to our youtube subscribe us as soon as possible okay go to our youtube channel and subscribe us okay thank you very much uh one thing i wanna ask to you we are going to start uh, our uh, online course on our channel uh, which is based on google sheet or google apps script so one thing we want to know uh, in which way you will get the videos uh which days you will be uh, most of your subscribers are free please leave the suggestions in the description or uh, in the comment box so i will read them and make my course according to them okay thank you